hundreds of voices were shouting over one another in the cafeteria, so that the conversation became mere sound, the rushing of a river over rocks. And as I sat beneath fluorescent cylinders spewing aggressively artificial light, I thought about how we all believed ourselves to be the hero of some personal epic, when in fact we were basically identical organisms colonizing a vast and windowless room that smelled of Lysol and lard. I was eating a peanut butter and honey sandwich and drinking a Dr. Pepper. To be honest, I find the whole process of masticating plants and animals and then shoving them down my esophagus kind of disgusting. So I was trying not to think about the fact that I was eating, which is a form of thinking about it. Across the table from me, Michael Turner was scribbling in a yellow paper notebook. Our lunch table was like a long-running play on Broadway. The cast changed over the years, but the roles never did. Michael was the artsy one. He was talking with Daisy Ramirez, who'd played the role of my best and most fearless friend since elementary school. But I couldn't follow their conversation over the noise of all the others. What was my part in this play? The sidekick. I was Daisy's friend, or Ms. Holmes's daughter. I was somebody's something. I felt my stomach begin to work on the sandwich, and even over everybody's talking, I could hear it digesting. All the bacteria chewing the slime of peanut butter. The students inside of me eating at my internal cafeteria.